Hello and welcome to TV Tutorials. My name is Doc and today let us do computer practice, shall we? Let's get right to it. All right, so before we even get into this video, make sure you guys do all the nice stuff. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Make sure you drop that like, make sure you comment down below and also click on that bell icon so that you get instant notifications, guys, every time we drop new content, right? So follow me. All right, so on today's episode, I'm, I'm going to be doing something um, a bit different, right? So common questions that I come across when I am conducting a, a class with um, students is, Doc, I do not know what is an autofill tab. I don't know what is a name box. I don't know what is a, a, a tab menu. I don't know what is a title bar and all of that. So I'm just going to explain those things for you guys, right? So follow me. On my screen, uh, I have an Excel document opened up and then... Um, I'm just going to explain to you guys uh, where's your title bar, where's your um, menu tab, where's your name box, where's your um, formula bar and stuff like that, right? One thing that I have to um, get out of the way is most of those labels that I just mentioned, you do find them in your in your Excel, you find them in your Word document, you find them in your database, you find them in your PowerPoint, all those um, Microsoft Office packages, right? So today I'm just going to be um, making an example with Excel, right? So I'm just going to start from the top and then take it from there. So follow me. Um, here on top, on your Excel um, worksheet, you have something called your title bar, right? So basically your title bar um, has the title of your, of your document. As you can see, we have uh, the name of our spreadsheet here, which is new Microsoft Excel worksheet, right? So this is our um, title bar, okay? And then on your... Um, on your right hand side, on your far right, this area right here, these buttons here. This is your Windows um, close button. This is um, maximize and then this is minimize. On the left hand side, you have your um, quick access button, right? So this is your quick access button here on top. This is where you have your save button, you have your um, undo, you have your redo, and also all the other buttons that you can actually customize to appear. Um, in this area so this is your quick access button so below your your quick access your title bar and your windows close minimize maximize or reset buttons you have something called your tab menu right so this is where you have your file your home your insert your page um, layout formulas data review um, review view so on and so forth this is called um, the menu tab right so if you click on um, these uh, tabs over here you get to switch between um, the different types of tabs that you get so you have your your home um, tab you have your insert tab you have your page layout tab so on and so forth right and then below your your um, tab menu you have this section over here this section over here basically consists of two labels you have your name box over here so if if you actually hover over it you can see uh you have name box appearing under there and then this side you have your formula bar basically your name box is if you highlight a a particular cell or a group of cells this is uh where you will get the name of those cell for an example we have cell a1 highlighted so we will get the name of this cell appearing on the name box and then again if you highlight uh, a range of cells uh, you can actually customize these um, group of cells to have one um, specific name and this is where you actually get to do it right on the name box so it will appear here when you give this uh, these uh, group of cells or any other group of cells this is where the name of those cells will appear right and then next to your name box as i explained you have your formula bar so basically when you perform um formulas in excel right now this is only exclusive to excel this is where you will um see your your formula right so let's say we want to have uh um, today's date uh, as a formula right so the formula for today's date is equals today opening bracket and closing bracket and then we hit enter Right, so once you click on enter, this, this will be your result, right? However, if you want to see the formula, this is where you can actually find that formula. So you have to click on that cell or you have to highlight that cell. And then on your formula bar, this is where your formula will actually um, appear. And then again, as you can see on the name box, it tells us this is uh, the name of this cell, 
where we've performed a, a function, which is a sum function, right? It's, it's actually not a sum function, it's a date function, but it's okay. This is where uh, your, your name box is and then your formula bar, right? We move on. And then below these two um, labels, you have your, your A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, so on and so forth, right? Basically, those are called your column headings. And then your column headings are, are associated with your row headings. So your, your numbers here, your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way um, down. Those are your row headings, right? So basically, if we go back to our, um, our name box, right? Whichever cell we highlight, we will get a code, right? Or an address, right? This is the address of the cell that we have highlighted right now. It is C3. And this is how this actually works. If you have a look at the, the column heading uh, corresponding to the cell that we highlighted, it is in column C, right? Hence the C here, right? And then uh, if you look at the row headings, we have three, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that specific cell. We have three. So where your column heading and your cell um, heading meets, this is the address of that particular cell. So you can click on any cell that you like. Whatever cell you click on, uh, the address will change on the name box. So that's how we get um, your cell uh, or the addresses of your cell, right? So if you hear someone talk about your D2, your C2, your, your B2 and stuff like that, those are basically your cell addresses, right? That's how we label those cells. Okay, we move on. And then the entire spreadsheet, it's not only limited to the, the part that I highlighted right now, but the entire um, spreadsheet, this is your work um, worksheet area. Basically, this is where you get to punch in your details or your information and all of that, right? So if you were to create a table and have uh, a bunch of information in there, this is where you do that, right? Your worksheet area. And then on your right hand side, on your um, sheet, you have this little bar over here. This little bar is called your scroll bar. You, you scroll up and down using this. And then at the bottom, again, you also have that bar. Y you can scroll left and right. So these are your scroll bars. And then down at the bottom here, you have your, um, your page tab. These are your page tabs. So basically, this is one page, right? This is one um, page, or this is just a sheet, one sheet right if you click on this plus sign you actually get to insert a new sheet right so now we have two sheets inserted this is called your page tab so your status bar is below your your page tab and then uh these uh three buttons here are your page scrollers right so if you have different pages you can uh quickly switch between um different sheets just by clicking on them or you can use this area here uh, for me it's not it's it's not accessible um, I, I just prefer um, switching between sh sheets by clicking on them you can also do that by using these buttons here right and finally you have uh, this area over here so these first three buttons over here uh, this is the view of your of your um, sheet right so this is the normal view as, as you see right now you also have um, your page layout um, basically uh, page layout uh, gives you the option to see uh, how exactly your page will be you understand so I just switched to page layout view and then as you can see if we make a print out this is gonna be page one and then this is gonna be page two so on and so forth if you scroll down you have another page you have another page so on and so forth right and then the last one is uh, your page break preview your page break preview basically only this area of your spreadsheet becomes active right the rest becomes um it stays gray that means whenever you make a print out it will not print out the gray area it will only print out the active part right so let's have my name over here and then let's have my surname let's have computer practice so as you can see once i insert information um your active sheet extends right so you can actually get to increase it or decrease it just by holding um let me increase 
let me just zoom to 100 percent so as you can see this is going to be one page and then if i have more information that filters out into two pages then it will able to tell us that now we are on page two or we are still on page one let's just increase it uh, so that we get two pages there we go now we have two pages right so this is gonna if we make a print out this is gonna be page number one this is gonna be page number two and then this is our page break so we can drag the page break uh if we only want one page so we have to drag it all the way to this blue line over here until page two disappears right so there we go now we will only have one page okay and then uh this area over here is your zoom in or out bar right so if you want to zoom in or out of your of your page this is where you do it so we are zooming out and we're zooming in right i i, I prefer keeping it at a hundred percent right so this is where you adjust your zoom in and out all right you guys thank you for tuning in that is it for today's video Make sure you do all those nice things. Smash that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. Click on that bell icon so that you get instant notifications every time you drop new content. Like, comment, and share this video. Also, head on over to Facebook and give us a follow on our Facebook page at TV Tutorials. From myself and my team at TV Tutorials, adios.